Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be installing a Nardi steering wheel on my 1992 Lexus SC400. This thing, 25,000 miles still. Haven't driven it much. I just threw the wheels on here recently. Boom, as you guys may have saw in the last video. And uh, yeah, so right here, we got the steering wheel. I'll open the box up in a second. Got the steering wheel, we got the uh, the uh, adapter that we can clip this on and then put the steering wheel on so it'll actually go on there. And then this is the airbag, uh, airbag delete kit, like airbag. Basically, you plug this into the car and uh, where the airbag would be. That way the airbag sensor doesn't, you know, stay on, you know. I'm doing it the right way, you know. Let me go ahead and sit inside of the uh, Lexus really quick. I'm getting inside, turn the AC on. I'm sure you guys what's in this box or what's in these two boxes in that bag, all right? So I'm going to go inside the Lexus right now and unbox this stuff because it is really hot outside. It's about 100 and five or six degrees outside Arizona heat man but uh this is what we're gonna be taking off today we're moving the OEM steering wheel right here you know interior nice and clean and I plan on keeping it that way you know got that peachy peach right here I didn't realize until you know up until recently that this is how you do uh, air fresheners you open the bag up little by little to get the full you know length of the air freshener i used to just blow them open and just have them then the smell will go away after a couple days but anyways this is the steering wheel right here that we're going to be removing we're going to open the sunroof up that way we can get some extra lighting so you guys can see everything i plan on putting the gopro put the gopro head strap on so you guys can see a little bit better you know my view because i can't hold the camera too good and uh show you guys what i'm doing but you know i got all the you know accessories right here everything will still be able to work once we get the steering wheel on here let's take this oem baby off Wow, man, beautiful. I'm gonna miss this thing, but I'm gonna love that new one. Let's go ahead and get that new steering wheel and uh, open it up, y'all, so I can see what I got. Cool, we got her in there. And I don't know if you guys follow the uh, IG, but you know, this is the Sequoia right here that we've been hooking up. Here, yeah, I'm a little bros, ES3 Hundo. You gotta get that ugly looking thing off the front of it. I keep telling him to do it, but he's slacking, you know? I'm gonna have to do it for him. Let's go ahead and crank this baby up. By the way, check out the keychain. Leon Hardrick. Same thing on the rims. Boom. All right, let's go ahead. Pipe this baby up. Because it is hot out here. Man, we about to break 26,000 miles, y'all. I'm not ready. I don't want to do it. Might be doing it soon, though. Let's see. And this AC on. Woo! Now we talking. All right, y'all, let's get the steering wheel done. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and check out the steering wheel. Let me turn the AC down so you can hear me a little bit better. There we go. Ah, 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 check it out, Nardi. This thing look beautiful, yo. All right, let me go ahead and unbox it really quick. I'm gonna box it towards you guys so y'all can see, okay? Boom, all right? Take this baby out the box. Ooh, I hold up, we got some stuff attached to it. All right, let's unbox that in a second. There's a piece of paper down here too. All right, let's take that out also. I got this uh, wheel brand new from their website. All right, let's check it out. Take out the plastic. Woo! Check it out, yo. Oh my God, look. Ew. Beautiful, yo. And look, you got the uh, signature right there, if y'all can see. Boom. On the back, that's how you know it's legit. Look, check it out. Check that out, made in Italy. Y'all see that? Made in Italy. Boom. All right. This joint is legit. All right, so we got the wheel right here. Now, in this bag, we got right here, this is the horn. You guys can see that's the Nardi horn. We got a little bag with some uh, screws and uh, Allen key. And then this right here, I'm assuming is a mount for uh, either the horn or, you know, behind it. And we got this little pamphlet thing right here. Oh, this is basically like, you know, look at the code on your uh, steering wheel and type it inside of our website and make sure it's authentic. Cause they say if it shows up as, you know, it's already been sold to another person and you're doing this fraud. But I know my joints legit, yo. 
See what else we got in this bag. I don't know, a bunch of papers in German or something like that. I ain't even gonna open that. So we also got, like I said, this bag right here. I'm gonna open it up. This is the uh, airbag, you know, uh, cutoff or whatever. That way the airbag light doesn't come on the dash once the steering wheel is installed. You know, just this little simple thing right here. You guys can see. Boom. And then we got a manual also, but I'm assuming it's all in Japanese. And I'm like, look. If anybody know what that says, man, let me know. I don't speak Japanese. Not yet, yo. I got English and I got Spanish. I think next is going to be Japanese for sure. Boom. So we got this. At least I'll, I can look at the pictures. You know what I mean? If I need help. Boom. So we got that. I'll put this inside of the uh, box with the uh, Nardi trash or whatever. And then we got this right here. The boss kit. Boom. This is basically like the uh, column that goes boom on top of the uh, OEM. You know steering housing or whatever that way you can put an aftermarket steering wheel on open this up right here Boom. and again everything's in japanese japanese manual and then we got the uh module itself we got three buttons on the top to set your uh steering wheel and there's nothing else in the box so we got the thing itself oh then we got you know this stuff that came on top of the uh thing right here came inside of there like that this is uh some nuts and bolts and the allen wrench and then this is a little i don't know what that is type of thing you know what i mean anyway let's go ahead and install this baby this is the installation manual right here crazy yo if the manual ain't in japanese it ain't getting installed on my sc man it's gotta be real jdm i don't know how to fold it back up all right i'm just gonna put it right there boom so Let's go ahead and get the install done, guys. All right, y'all, so the first thing y'all wanna do is uh, let's pop this trunk and let's disconnect this battery, all right? Could be working with live wires right here, and plus we don't want the airbag to blow up on us. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. There we go. It's a big old hood, man. You can lay down and go to sleep on this hood. It's like a bed. You know, but let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, terminal right here. Cool, so we got that off of there. And now, we're gonna go to the next steps. All right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do is remove these uh, panels on each side of the steering wheel. We got this one right here. Then we got this one back here, if you can see. And we're gonna pry it open by these uh, little square holes right here. I got a nice little tool kit that I took from my little brother. He's got like this tool kit that's made for popping off like, you know, fixtures and plastic and all that. So that's what I'm gonna use. There we go. I popped it off. Boom, that should just pop off like that. There we go, boom. Pop it off. There's a couple of bolts that we gotta remove. See them red? Or I guess bronze uh, bolts right here. Boom, one right here. And the one up here, if you guys can see good. Boom. And it should be the same on the next side. Yep, one right here, boom. The one up there, you guys can see it right there. All right, so we're gonna get that special uh, bit for that. I'm gonna take that off really quick. All right, y'all, so I got the tool right here, got it on loosen. I got an extender, that way I can get to it easier. Had to get it clicked in there. All right, y'all, we're gonna take this side off also, loosen it up. These bolts don't come all the way out, they stay in here. They got little plastic uh, housings that, you know, don't allow the bolt to come all the way out. Cool, so that's all the way loose. And let's hit the top one now. You can barely see that top one in here. I can't even see it with my own head. Hold up. Uh, and you guys should see this airbag starting to come loose. That's what we want. Boom. Screws is all the way loose. Like I said, you can see right here how they got these black mounts around it, these black uh, plastic pieces around it. That means I don't want you to take the screw all the way out. All right, so this thing should just pop right off. Let's see. Oh, let's be careful with it because this is the airbag. You know, that's why we unplug the battery, y'all. We don't want no code red man down situations. 
airbag blowing up on you. Are you, are you touching two terminals together and going and getting all shocked, you know what I mean? So what we gotta do now is disconnect this uh, yellow cable right here. All right, so for this, you're just gonna pull up on this white tab right here and this yellow clip should slide out. So you see if I can do it with one hand. There we go, boom, check it out. All right, what we wanna do is click these, uh, push these clips down right here. Boom, put some pressure on the outside of these clips right here. That way these, you know, push out, boom, push down, and then you wanna pull out on this black cable right here. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I'm gonna try. Now that we got the cable loose, you know, push down, boom, I've already done it. And then this should just fly up. Once you have that lifted up, you're gonna push down on this center yellow piece right here. In the middle, you're gonna push down on that, and then you're gonna pull out this black cable, boom, this whole thing should pop out like that. Then, you officially have the airbag off right here. It's coming apart, guys, little by little. Let me go ahead and throw some in my back seat. It's out the way. All right, y'all, so after this, what you're gonna need is a 19 millimeter socket. I got a long socket. You may wanna put an extension on here because it's not, it's kinda, you get kinda close to the steering wheel, and you may or may not wanna scratch your steering wheel up, you know? But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up. I already had to loosen up a little bit before I, you know, came back to make this video because I wasn't, be able to, I wasn't gonna be able to do it with one hand. So I went ahead and loosen it up, you know? Right, I can just take the socket off now. It's loosen up. All right, once it's halfway loose, you want to go ahead and, you know, yank it loose is what I did. I just kind of, boom, boom, you know, hit these corners real hard. And, you know, that's loose on this bolt right here. You can see that it's moving in and out. You know what I mean? Now we can take the whole bolt all the way off. Boom. Put that down there. All right, and afterwards, you want to go ahead and pop out this uh, blue clip right here. You want to push up on it. What I did is I got this little tool right here, and I pushed up on it. Boom. Really hard. You know what I mean? You want to loosen that up. Uh, Thing up inside here, uh, boom, and you want to pull it out, boom, so it should pop out like that. This wheel should come right off. Be careful of that yellow cable, you know. Boom, wheel should come off. I'm gonna throw it on the back seat with the other crap, and uh, boom, this is what we got right here. This is our base. All right, y'all, so I'm a little bit confused on this uh, airbag uh, delete joint. What is it called? Hold up, what is this called? Uh, airbag dummy hardness is what it's called. I'm a little bit confused because it comes with four cables and on the instructions, it has the four cables on here and it tells you to plug it into this yellow cable right here, boom, which is this right here on top on, you know, from 12 to 13 now, it just tells you to plug in the two red cables. I'm assuming those are the red ones because the other ones are colored in black and then I don't speak Japanese, man. So I don't know what any of this is telling me to do or, but for sure, these are the two reds plugged into the thing so i got the two reds plugged in but it's like what do i do with the black ones i'll put them together or what i did I, I could put them both in there together like the black ones on the bottom and the red ones above but i don't know is that gonna short out my system and i'm gonna you know what i mean i'm gonna have some issues if i do that so i don't know what i'm gonna try right now and i pray that my car doesn't break when i do this is i'm gonna try to i'm gonna put the terminal back on the battery and see if my airbag light comes on or not and put the keys in and you know crank her up and see if the airbag comes on or not if the airbag light comes on then maybe i'll put these two uh these two cables inside with it and see what happens hopefully it works let's see guys all right so i halfway slid the battery trim on the back on let's try to crank her up and see what happens oh bunch of wipers on let's see Dope, looks like the airbag light isn't on. I just wrapped the black wires around with some electrical tape. Let me go take that battery off right now. I mean, the uh, turn off battery. Cool, so I know it works. So I just gotta wrap some electrical tape around them black wires. That way they don't touch. Better safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Boom, so that's right there, chilling. All right, y'all, so what I did was I just got some electrical tape and I taped uh, around these two wires separately. And then I just taped them together is what I did. That way these red ones stick out. I think this uh, little uh, delete thing, this little module for a bunch of different uh, type of Toyotas, old Toyotas is what it is. And I think, I don't know if this is for a Toyota with two airbags or something like that, but um, I turned it on and it worked with the uh, two uh, red cables. The airbag light didn't come on, so I'll just keep it that way. Go ahead and plug these back in here. I won't be able to do it with one hand, but literally you just take the two wires, push them into the top piece right there. So boom, look, that's it right there. I got the black wires taped together. 
and uh, I got the red wires in there. They're not pushed all the way in because that's as far as they go in. But I think I'm gonna put some electrical tape around that too. That way it doesn't uh, come off. Boom, so I got the electrical tape around these wires right here and around the black wires. Now all we gotta do is, put it on the ground. Let's go ahead and throw this module on here now. Hold up, throw this module on here. We got these three wires. Boom, where's the top? Top right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, slide this yellow cable in between you know this piece right here I'm gonna wrap it around like that inside of it that makes sense and uh let me do i gotta do it with two hands but let's go ahead and plug this uh thing in first you guys can at least see that i'm gonna plug this white wire into here it's gonna hear you're gonna hear a click boom that's it right there we're gonna have the top facing up we're gonna just slide it on there make sure these white wires are sticking through they just fell out again and then we're gonna wrap this uh, yellow wire around here, okay? I'm gonna do it really quick and I'll come back to you guys. All right, boom. So we got this on here, nicely clicked in. Like I said, that yellow wire is behind everything, you know, wrapped around kind of, you know, like this way. Boom. We got these three cables sticking out, you know, boom, everything's in there good. Let me go ahead and slide this uh, column back a little bit. It was kind of slid forwards right there, like that. What I'm gonna do is just push it back, boom, slide it all the way back. And now let's go ahead and put that bolt right here in the middle. The same bolt that we had right here on the ground. So we got her in. We're gonna go ahead and screw her in there, hand tighten it. Or you can do this with the socket also. Let's go ahead and tighten her up all the way. Tighten up a little bit more. I'm gonna have to use both hands to tighten it up. All right, y'all. So now what we're gonna do is install the wheel. Now. Now you got these black screws, I guess, if you want to, but I'm not gonna use these because these came with this uh, column right here. These are the screws to put your steering wheel on. I'm not gonna use these because my nice Nardi wheel came with some chrome blickies right here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use those. And we're gonna go ahead and put the wheel on like this and just line up the uh, screws. That way the wheel's nice and uh, centered right here, okay? Line up the screws and you're gonna put them in hand tight on each hole, okay? All right, cool, so that's all I just did was just hand tighten the screws. Boom, just like that. They're all hand tightened right now. Now I'm gonna get the Allen key and go ahead and tighten them up the rest of the way. I'm gonna tighten it up just like how I would do a uh, wheel putting on a car. You know, go opposite sides. You go, you know, boom, boom, and then boom, boom, and then boom, boom, whatever. You know, that way the wheel's nice and flat on there, 100%. And you'll be ready to rock. All right, let's go ahead and tighten that up right now. Let's get to the next step. All right, now that we got it all tightened up, let's go ahead and check out the final pieces right here. This is the top piece right here and the horn. What's up? I'm assuming this right here just clicks on top, you know, nice and neat. And then the horn, I'm assuming goes in first. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and put this uh, terminal back on. All right, we got the terminal back on there. Let's go ahead and close the hood down. And let's come back inside on the whip and see which one of these uh, cables are gonna work for the horn. Now we just gotta find the correct cable for the horn. And I marked these three. I put two, you know, things on this, none on that, and I put one, you know, little piece of tape on this one. This is the one that works. So when I touch this to the top of it, eh, you hear the horn beeping. But for some reason, it doesn't work. Once I, you know, I try to use this, and I try to, I, I push it in, try to ground it, and it doesn't work either. But uh, I'll figure the horn out later on, the cables and everything. Most importantly, there's no dat, no lights on the dash right now, and uh, you know, the steering wheel's on here, nice and sturdy. I looked at a whole bunch of different YouTube videos explaining how to, uh, you know, wire this up, but everybody's got different setups and different cables coming out their cars. And, you know, it's not a lot of videos of people with SEs putting these uh, steering wheels on or any steering wheel on in general, really, and explaining, you know, good detail what they're doing. Now, anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wire that up. I'm going to click this in. You know, this looks like this right here because I had to uh, take this off because I put, I put, this grounding, uh, you know, ring around, you know, in the back behind it, originally, and uh, this thing, it was the ring was smaller than this, so this thing couldn't go inside because the ring was blocking it to go in. But uh, I took the ring out, you know, I had to, you know, sacrifice some double-sided tape, you know, but I can always buy that stuff and put it back on and you know make it look nice and slick. But for right now, I'm shoving these cables in here. I'm gonna shove this on. What you got to do right here is uh, push these clips in right here. Push that clip in. Push this one in, and you don't know, just try to snap the other ones in if you can't push them in. And uh, this thing should go boom flush on there. Then you just gotta throw this uh, top boom right on the front. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, and I'll get back at you guys. All right, all right, y'all. So there we go. This has been the Nardi steering wheel setup right here. 
you know we're looking real fresh real clean like i said the horn doesn't work but hey you know i'll figure that out another day y'all all right cool so but uh cruise control and everything works because look click on this uh button right here cruise pops up cruise off